Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video on Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. My name is Vinicius SGN. Hope you guys are having a cool day today. Alright, so in this video we're talking about two really cool Key Blast Supers that have just dropped in DLC Extra Pack 3 for Xenoverse 2. There are two Key Blast Supers that come from Kefla. One is called Ray Blast and the other one is Blast Ball. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get both of these skills, and then I'm going to take them into training a little bit later and show you how both of these moves work. These moves are really, really cool, and I think that you're going to like them. So let's get right into it. That's right, my friend. Let me ask you, does a machine like yourself ever experience fear? <laughs> Alright guys, so to get these two skills, you want to jump into Parallel Quest 125, Proofs in the Portara, and you must get the ultimate finish to get these two skills. Alright, so how you get the ultimate finish is this. You have to clear with Kefla's health over 50%, then you have to defeat Ultra Instinct, Goku, Beerus, and all the rest. So basically, all you gotta do is just burn really fast and make sure Kefla's health stays up. Now, these two skills, the R and Jesus God was so nice to me. I got both of these skills to drop at one time, so I get to just make one video on both the skills, which is awesome. Alright, so basically, I'm going to show you the parallel quest and show you everything that I did here to get these skills to drop, and then after the parallel quest is over, I'm going to go jump on to training and show you how these skills work. Now, one of these skills is really, really awesome, and it's reminiscent of another skill in the game that people really, really hate. So I think that in about a week, people are going to be very, very irritated with this Key Blast Super. Can you figure out which one it is? Don't worry, I'm going to let you know as soon as we finish the parallel quest.
hell since I've had fun. Are you even trying? Don't you see Oh, you're quite good. And that is it. Now, you saw one of those skills drop when Ultra Instinct Goku was knocked out. I'm not exactly which skill that was because I got both of the skills at the end of the parallel quest. So if you do know what happens when you do knock out Goku, if you get a skill from there, I'm interested to hear. So let's check out these skills. The first one I'm going to take a look at is Ray Blast and we'll do Blaster Ball. Ray Blast says, shoot out three key waves in rapid succession while safely surrounded by a barrier that stops normal key blasts. After firing, input the command for an ultimate attack to cancel the technique and fire that attack. Now that is really, really good, and quite possibly that's going to irritate some people when you play with them. So I played around with this skill for a little bit. Now if you use Ray Blast, if you've seen it, it's basically where Kefla, she is surrounded by energy and you know shoots out that beam or whatever like that. She did that in the uh, Tournament of Power. So there it is right there. Now I noticed that there are only a certain skills that really work with this uh, ability. So it kind of reminds you of Justice Rush and Ju or Justice Combination to Justice Rush, or is it Justice Rush and the Justice Combination? I get those two confused all the time, but it's sort of reminiscent of that. You can go right into the ultimate attack, and I found that Super Black Kamehameha works really well. Times 20 Kamehameha works really well, as well as Saiyan Spirit. All very good skills to use with Ray Blast, and honestly, I just... I. I don't know how they came up with this. I think that is a really, really dope skill, and I think you should definitely add it to your arsenal when you're trying to fight somebody that's trying really hard because the move, while it may not be very instant cast, um, I, I guess it works. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's not instant cast, so you can't really combo into it as well as other moves, but if you do get it off, you'll be able to go right into some other attacks. So I'm not sure exactly how good or bad that's going to be in PvP, but I know that you kids out there are really, really good at this game, and you're going to figure it out. All right, so the next skill we're going to take a look at is going to be Blaster Ball. Now, Blaster Ball is reminiscent of something that you might see out of Broly because, you know, Kefla at this was sort of modeled after the Broly character. And this move, Blaster Ball, let's go ahead and get a read on it. It says, fire off a barrage of small key blasts. Press the button repeatedly to use key to keep firing and you're going to waste about maybe five bars of key to keep doing this. And you have to press the button really fast because the balls speed up. Like right there, I was trying to do it, and I was just pressing the buttons normally. I didn't stop. I was just pressing them normally again right there. But you have to really hammer that button, destroy your control, and get them to come out. See, this is me. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible right now. And that's when I realized, like, look how fast the character's going. That's when I realized, oh, you got to actually spam the button. Like, it actually felt good because some games, you know, you really didn't, you can't spam the control like that. But that move, you actually get to spam. Now, I'm not exactly sure what other moves can combo into and out of this move, but I do know for uh, a sure that I was able to successfully do the Revenge Final Flash out of it, and it was really satisfying. It really knocks your opponent away from you. So I guess, if anything, this skill is really good at spacing, getting your opponent away from you, because if they get hit with all those balls, they are knocked away. But again, it's kind of a bad thing, because if you do that, you're kind of wasting all of your key. And then, you know, you don't have that key, you can't use your ultimate attacks, whatever like that. So be very careful when you're using this skill, or, you know, at the very least, if you're playing somebody who, you know, you feel like you can beat and you really don't need that much key, you know, go ahead and use it with Reckless Abandon. But I would just, uh, I, I would use caution when using this skill, because if you're going into a match and, you know, it's kind of hard for you to gain key back, then it, it might not be that good. I mean, for PvE, I guess it's going to be pretty dope. Or maybe if you're doing some expert missions or maybe a raid, this skill would probably be good to uh, throw off because it, it does have a, a very far range on. Actually, for raid, this skill would actually be really, really good. All right, so those are the skills. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy these skills, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, and let me know what you think about them down in the comments below. Check out one of these great videos, man. I'll see you next time. Peace.